respect for others in engineering workplace why it matters how to promote it so respect plays a fundamental role in your workplace it's a basic building block to your success without respect you will be left with a toxic environment where no one trust each other fewer are motivated to go above and beyond their basic job responsibilities so why it is important is if your workplace is filled with favoritism or any other lack of enthusiasm then automatically the environment gets spoiled it becomes toxic so some uh, unappreciable behaviors exhibits in the working atmosphere okay the disruptive exclusionary passive aggressive method of signs will be prevailing over the organization that extends towards the leaders employees so the environment once it gets toxic leads to disrespect among other employees so there uh, there will be some groupisms which uh, reduces the productive atmosphere so obviously this prolonged method leads to dissatisfaction with themselves with the with the whatever the job they are doing in their organizations so productivity gets reduced so in order to increase the productivity employees should be respected with lots of respect they should be motivated in order to work for an organizations okay they should be in, encouraged to bring out some innovative thoughts and ideas and processes so that the productivity can be increased drastically so the stress may be increased if there isn't any respect among the employees so if this comes under control then disrespect leads to stress and respect reduces the stress level the playing field is that respectful enf- environment means that everyone is treated with the same regard respect no one is given any partiality in treat- treating anyone preferential treatment no one is given some preferential treatment above the others in an organization so level the playing field is most expected one everyone are level to same range grade standard with same respect then obviously the production gets increased so if the respect get increased that employee satisfaction gets increased they feel empowered okay they will be eager in working in team they will obey the managers trust them complete their jobs neatly correctly uh, they will be doing the things what they are expected to do exactly so respect is most important one so next comes the point how to introduce respect okay make a plan for dealing with conflict if there is any uh, misunderstanding plan it deal with the conflict conflict is inevitable whatever we do there will be conflict in the working and muscle with the different personalities because no people are same everyone will be different in their personality thought ideas there will be obviously conflict among them but you have to handle the conflict under the ones is responsible for conflict and bring out some respectful manner is an activity when an employee offers an idea or shares feedback means you have to listen to them it shouldn't be any one way form of communication it should be some brainstorming method of activity in fact encourage them to do so if there is any new ideas when everyone has a voice your organization can become stronger and your employees themselves feel more valued share encouraging feedback if the uh, team under you 
does any good things or completes its uh, allotted work in stipulated time just give them a good feedback encourage them appreciate them it's a positive note instead of always providing constructive criticism she can receive perceive as negative share positive feedback to positive feedback shows your employees that you value them and recognize their strengths as well as the opportunities for self improvement welcome feedback from others it's a good idea to collect diverse feedback different feedbacks provides different ideas different innovative thoughts in other words don't just ask the same person for advice seek out opinions from multiple people on your team this way no one feels routinely left out of a conversation okay so these are all the things you have to do in work atmosphere you have respect must to be an important factor next comes sharing and caring caring is feeling for others it includes respect to feeling of others so caring is reflected in activities such as friendship membership in social clubs and professional societies and through various transactions in the family fraternity community country and the international councils knowing and acting in interest of others is caring some people would be thankful for what you did if someone feels like no one cares about them they may think that they are just worthless so care about the person around you the person work with you the person in your team extension of oneself is caring devotion and consistency are essential elements making others to care about another person is caring involves desire motivation inclination it's a magical experience it is a heart of the ethics caring very important one sharing is a process that describes the transfer of knowledge like teaching or learning or information experience commodities facilities with others is voluntary sharing is charity very valuable word sharing is a culture okay so man is by nature selfish sharing requires broad mind rational thinking helping nature requires a little act of kindness so try to help poor try to share with poor try to care for poor okay students so with this we conclude the first unit introduction of professional ethics meet you in second unit thank you